Ooh, ladies and gents, I'm TV here with another vlog. So, last vlog I mentioned that I was reading a new manga series. Well, not new necessarily, but new to me at least. I'm reading through Yotsuba. And yeah, this is the third volume, which I just started. I'm borrowing these from my friend Angelo because he has 12, like all 12 volumes. I think there's a 13th one that came out in Japan. I think. But uh, yeah. I borrowed volume one, and then when I went to go visit him, when, whenever that was on the vlog, I think it was on Tuesday, I gave him back the first one, and he gave me volumes two through six. I was just going to borrow, like, two and three, but then he's like, I take these. They're, the others are over there. And yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this. Huh. If you look at the back here... I'm kind of wearing the same color shirt as Yotsuba because it's like white with the green and that's like what I'm wearing but uh, yeah anyways Yotsuba is really really fantastic it's there really isn't a main plot to it like just from what I can see it's just a five-year-old child enjoying life it's really heartwarming and it's like just I don't know how to explain it but like, Yotsuba is my favorite character in this, as there's quite a few characters. There's Yotsuba, there's her dad who found her and adopted her, which is weird. And then there's her neighbors, uh, there's Ena, Fuka, and Asagi. Is that a... And a bookmark? Huh, Angelo, you left your bookmark here. Yeah, there's also Jumbo, who's really tall. But, um, anyways, yeah, it's... That's a cool image. It's... Yotsuba is really, really fun to read. I mean, it's... There's funny moments, there's heartwarming moments, and one of my favorite things, which was in, like, the first volume, is like how Yotsuba is always happy. Which, I don't know, it's... Just made me smile a lot because it's it's really heartwarming actually, and also like whenever Yotsuba finds something new, like she gets really excited about it and really enjoys like whatever new thing she finds, such as when she got a souvenir like in the second volume, and then like stuff like that. It's just really earnest, I guess, but Yotsuba is really, really enjoyable, and I can't wait to, like, actually finish reading this, because I finished reading the first chapter of it, and just, like, skimming through, there's a lot, a lot of things that I think I'll like about it. Now, one reason why I'm reading this is because, uh, one of my friends on the internet, uh, Clover and Sea Life, uh, used to go by the artist named Yotsuba Lifestyle because Jammy enjoys Yotsuba. And it's like, yeah, okay, I want to know what Yotsuba is about. And I've actually wanted to know what Yotsuba, uh, Yotsuba is about for a while. Like, I've been meaning to borrow the, the comics from Angelo. It's just like until I think I started wanting to read them 2014 and now it's 2016 but better late than never right but um yeah it's really really good I really like this and I'm um, I don't know what to say other than I really really like Yotsuba it's I recommend it and I, I don't know, I might buy these later on just so I can have them myself, because Barnes & Noble, but, um, yeah. That's pretty much all I have to say, so, I guess I'll see you guys next time for another vlog. And I'll just read more of this before I go to bed, so, later.